couple you've weeks got ago. some you got some beef with Twitter. That I'm not speculating. You've come out and said that your biggest beef might be with Twitter. I think you were trying to sue yeah. some of these media outlets, but Twitter's at the top of your list. Well, Twitter, Twitter, I tried to sue because they labeled me a hacker. They said that the, their their reasoning for blocking the story from mm -hmm. every form of communication was that it was based on hacked material. I'm not a hacker. Mm -hmm. So I went because out, Hunter gave you the laptop. He Is gave me permission. Yeah. My my job was yeah. to recover. I didn't. I wasn't there to fix a laptop. It was yeah. to recover the data. And then after ninety days, it legally became it became property. yours because he signed a mm -hmm. uh, a bill or an invoice saying, yep. "Hey, after ninety days, if you don't pay, this is now my property." And <laughs> and there's no ex expectation of privacy when it comes to things you abandon. So I never felt like I ever did anything wrong. So to get labeled a hacker, because people are like, you're gonna rot in prison for hacking. I'm like, I didn't hack anything. So if I'm ever gonna start a business again, fixing computers, having people, lay, if I don't clear my name in the court of law that I'm not a hacker, I'm never gonna have a successful business again. So that's why I went after Twitter again. And we beat 230. Twitter put up the 230 protection defense. Section and, 230. Yeah, and we actually beat them, which I think is a first. My, my lawyer, we were high-fiving. It was, it was a good time. Things looked very optimistic. <clears throat> and then about June, they switched to judges, and then the judge uh, demanded that my lawyer go down to Florida to explain to her why this case shouldn't be thrown out. So that was a, not a good sign. And then it was thrown out, and then tr I was... Twitter, I have to pay Twitter's legal fees. So Can I read a quote that you said to the New York Post? Maybe we'll put up a discussion because mm -hmm. this has to do with Section 230, media. Um, I believe you called the uh, media these days or at least big tech state-run media. Yeah. So this, I, that, I guess this is according to the Post. After fighting to reveal the truth, all I want is for the rest of the country to know that there was a collective and orchestrated effort mm -hmm by social and mainstream media to block a real story with real consequences for the nation. Mm -hmm. Is that how you still feel things? Absolutely, that's, that's why I'm, I'm suing right now with the help of the America Project. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I thought I had to move back to Delaware because I thought I would have to file for bankruptcy and I had to be in my house or I'd lose my, lose my house. So I had to leave where I was safe and go back to now 10 miles from Joe Biden's house. And because I don't want to lose my house. So, you know, oh, you, you're, you feel safe for being closer to Joe Biden's house? No, I feel, well, I still, I feel safe in my house now because yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it's my home and I'll, I, I can I don't know. If, I don't know if Joe feels safe around Joe. So it's, uh, yeah, it's like. Well. And where does the Twitter lawsuit stand right now with you? Oh, no, they, they threw it out with prejudice and then I, okay. I owe Twitter $175,000. And do you plan on paying that, or how's that? Well, work? It, it's mostly taken care of. Gotcha. I so mean, you're I, the I, second most famous person that Twitter's at Twitter is currently suing. Well, I, I'm pretty sure they. Well, I, I don't think I, I'd want to be famous for that. But uh, no, Twitter. Twitter was a realization. I never thought mm -hmm. I would have my opportunity to hold these people accountable in the court of law. So I wrote a book about because I thought maybe court of public opinion. If I tell my story and I put it in a book then the mainstream media and social media can't block it. It'll be something mm -hmm. that's tactile and in, in people's hands. So I, I didn't think I'd have an opportunity again to try to hold these people accountable. Uh, when you look at the, the, the collusion, so uh, Zuckerberg on, I think, October 25th, 2020, admitted before Congress that the FBI approached Facebook, Twitter, and Google to warn them of a massive document dump of... Uh, uh, disinformation from a foreign power okay he said that and if it was at the end of the summer all right I I mailed overnighted a copy of the drive to Bob Costello's office in on August 28th so if the following week the FBI is warning social media outlets to be on the lookout for a document dump it makes it begs the question who who has the FISA court for that mm -hmm. was I being monitored or was the lawyer for the president of the United States being monitored so I want to figure out who gave the marching orders, who told everybody that this is Russian collusion. Sure, I want to clear my name. Obviously, I, I don't want the Mac Isaac name, which is a pretty good name as far as military and love of country. I don't need to have traitor attached to that moving forward. And I'm not going to let them take the narrative that they want to push and allow that to end up in the history books. So there's, yeah, that's my personal fight. But the bigger picture is, is there was a colluded effort. There was collusion between mainstream and social media and federal agencies. At mm -hmm. least we know of the DOJ and the FBI's involvement to keep this quiet. And we live in a country that we're afraid of, we're leaning towards socialism. We're like, we're like halfway there. 
with our state-run media. It's not fair and it's not right and it shouldn't happen to the country and it's unfortunate that it happened to me, but the bigger <laughs> thing is, is we should, with 86% of Americans getting their news through digital devices, to have a lens or a filter over that that's presented to us, that's controlled by a political party, that's that's not right. Mm-hmm. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here. 